Hello, everybody. This is Frankie Day, Frankie Day Models. Okay, for this beautiful Thursday, I have for you duty number five for the summer build of the Billing Smoke's Doodle Dance School Ship. Okay, best part from the last video four, I got the mask all in there. It's all glued in. Normally, I don't glue the mask in yet, but I glued it in here. And I put one coat of lacquer on the mask right here. And I got to give it another coat. It's off of dry wood. You're like an old kid. It's 1972. The kid's model's over 50 years old, 54 years old. So it's 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 uh, pretty dry. I put one coat of lacquer on last night, so there's another coat on there. So I'll put another on this, another coat on here uh, while it's while it's evening sometime. I'm gonna play music tonight. If I get done playing music, I'll come back on. I'll put one coat of lacquer on there. Okay, I got some stills. I've already shot on. So you got a, a view of it here, and you have a view of it on the stills. Let's go back to the stills and see what I'm talking about. Hope you guys like those uh, little shots right there. Okay, here she is right here as I pick it up. And you can see it's coloring quite nicely, guys. It's not different than a lot of the lots on YouTube there. It's this is the way I modeled this thing, the way it looked before it was all painted green and everything. This is just an earlier, older kit. This thing that came out real nice. I love this little Lilo Dan. I got the screw on there, the rudders on there and stuff. This is a very nice model. And I'm very happy that I got this thing. I had enough sense up by a couple of them. I saw a couple on eBay. They went $80 for it. Brand new kits, too. They come with a fitting zero. I mean, you can't beat that. I think I paid $39. No. I paid less than that. I paid sixteen dollars and ninety-five cents for this thing back in nineteen seventy-two. The fittings were thirty-nine ninety-one. Okay. <clears throat> Next video we'll have the video on the North Club. And uh, I'm gonna finish up the stern galleries. We're gonna go ahead and make a video on that. And that'll be done probably maybe by the morning. So I've worked all night long on the stern galleries. I got mud down on this thing. It looks nice so stay posted for the video for that okay it's very nice weather out here guys it really is it's nice and warm outside it's not very hot it's warm and that's barbecue weather i think uh 
I can have my brother put on a couple of steaks tonight. And if I get home from work, I'll have a steak dinner. And, and we'll have a... I'm going to be working on my wheel it in and get those masks all lacquered down. But, uh, so, on the North Slab, it's come on pretty good. See, I've got the cowries on there. I just broke out the lights. They gave me three lanterns. Very, very nice. I like these little jobs. The bees will be mounted on on the aft on the uh, on the transom. I was looking at these. It's a shame you didn't have tubing in here, you know. I could run a light there and put a little a wheat bulb light in there and then go light up. It can be done. But you gotta save this only and remove that brass rod right there which sticks through there. You could probably stick some kind of small like a three thirty second uh um tubing there and run a wire there and put a wheat bulb in there, but that that's something you could do, but right now I'm not too worried about it. This thing is in a case display. And, uh, yeah. I'm just going to build as is. That's how it's going to be. Okay. I forgot about this. Mail call was yesterday. And I forgot to show this to you. Here's the fitting so the one you see. You guys are like this. Oh, come out, come out, come out, wherever you are. This is gonna be the house warming party build. I just got this. This is a friggin' chillin'. This is a, the new kit. The old one is, is superseded by this one here. And it's really a nice model when it gets all done. So I'll get my new place and I'm going to go ahead and build this. It's going to be a housewarming build. So I'll save that for there. Everything else I'm just finishing up. Only I got started right here on the table here is, uh, is Woody Z and Leela Dan. Of course, the North Sea Lowe's was started about five or six years ago, about five years ago, four, years, four and a half years ago. Maybe about five. So, looking forward to that bill too. It's coming up. I think it'd be a good idea for the uh, house plumbing build. I like that. I like that very much. Here's all the plans to my North Club. This came from my old kit had the ones that uh, Dave Mather gave me along with the kit. The one day, this is the booklet. So always save your plans, children. It can get you out of trouble. These plans here, 45 or 46 years old. I have these since 1978. 77. Here's the old Billings, 1977 issue, Billings catalog. Now, this is called Billingland. Billingland was designed by Einar Billing. Of the Billing Boat Company. The man was an architecture. He was very wonderful what he did. And uh, he designed all these model boats as, as we as we build them today. This photograph was taken in the inside exhibit of Billingland. Billingland was kind of, it was an amusement park. But you know, I was really sorry and so sad about it was it only lasted 10 years. Yes, 10 years. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. A lot of you out there that are in the UK, Probably know a little Frank Day's talk about and uh, building on the here right here is the master himself, Mr. Billing here, working on the Zordy Z. And that's his son right there. Now, there's a good kicker right there. You talk about uh, 
uh, I, I time, I, I'm going through a time tunnel. See this little fellow right here with a stick in his hand beating across the air while his dad's demonstrating how to build a boat? Not this young boy right here, but the kid in the middle. This fellow is seen in building boats kits with a pipe in his mouth with his son along with him too. Oh yeah. You talk about going through a time trip. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, I like to show you guys stuff now. Now, building man, here's building man. Right there. Now. You guys get on YouTube and look up building use you, your search engine and look up for building boats, uh building land. You'll see it. But it don't look like this no more. It's all dried up. That this water out here looks like it's deep out here. It's not. It's only probably about four probably fifteen inches deep. You can walk out there. It's all brick right there. It's all brick is is the floor out there. These little houses they exist. They're about maybe uh oh I don't know, maybe a a little less, two feet tall, a little less. And they got these little geeks, these little boats here that the children can ride on. You can see this, this little tyke and his sister having the fun out here. It's an amusement park, like a Disneyland, like a Knott's Berry Farm, like a King's Island, like Coney Island, Myrtle Beach, it would be an amusement park, anything like that. And a lot of Danish and German people in the UK and the European people have ventured here. But right here, this is what I learned by watching the building land there. Because the guy had a drone. He had a drone. He took everything. You would take, if you're a model boat builder, a model boat builder like me, and, and do radio control model boats, that's fine. That's wonderful. That's what it actually was designed for. Now, you look out here, you can see those little model boats out there in the water out here. Now, see this right here? These are like little canals through there. The, 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 again, they're only about 13, 14 inches deep. Not very deep. You can walk up there up to your up to your shins. You can walk the road out there. A little road you can walk. You can sail your little radio control boat all the way around there. You're going to pretty soon end up out here. Now, during time, interest, money, mostly money, interest, the place went under. It lasted about 10 years. I think it was about 1979 or 1980. By the time I got out of the Navy, uh, building boats were over with. It started out in 73, and by 1983, it was out, it was out of business. And uh, I was very sad to hear about that. I think it was a very cool thing doing that. And my, and my uh, ex-wife, Brenda, before I married Ruthie, I was married to her 31 years. She uh, she looked at that catalog and said, well, that's a wonderful thing for little kids to do go up there. I said, they don't do stuff like that in, uh, in, uh, in this country, which they don't. But like I say, we affect other three world countries too. And they afford a mess to leave pretty much what we do too. But anyway, it was very, uh, it, was, it was nice to see stuff like that. Anyway, that picture right there in this catalog was taken from uh, the inside exhibit. Only. I thought it was outside at this time. So Mr. Allen Billing, he was pretty, uh, he designed a genius thing there. It, it's a shame that it went out of business, you know. It really is. But the place still exists. So look at YouTube, you see what I'm talking about. Right here, here's master. This is a paint set I got from a little dam. There he is. What color? North Love right there. That's about the color of my first one I was. It was a real dark, dark, dark walnut stain on it. And, um, and I think I murdered it by putting stain on it. Because when I bought the spinning set, I want to make it look like this box here. But I think it's the lighting right there. It gives it this, this big it like dark, but it wasn't. So... When you get a store slab, guys, don't use no dark walnut stain on it. Just just go ahead and use polyurethane or lacquer on it. And uh, your tops appear black. 
mask caps are black. Your platforms are black. Everything else is natural. So there he is, working on his North Club. Okay, guys, a little, uh, little time that's uh, deja vu job we got going for you. I well, hope you guys like that Reba Dan the slides I did. And uh, I'm going to prepare and play music. I've got about half an hour to be getting out of here. I've got to put my Hank Williams uniform on, my, my nudie suit on. I look like a rhinestone cowboy. Got my steel guitar on the amp parked up, packed up there in the car. I'm going to be Calvary Copas tonight. Come back here and be Frankie Day. <laughs> what a combination. Okay, I got a lot of stuff going on here, you know. Um, next week, I'm going to do some paint on the house. He ordered some paint. I got about uh, 15 gallons of, uh, of dark, uh, like a dark dove gray color. I have a room trim around the house. So he goes, Frank, how the heck can you get up there and paint the leaves up there like that? Or a cherry picker. I went out there, you see Rebels down there, grab a cherry picker up there, have my brother crank it up with like a little platform. I go up there and paint. I ain't gonna put no scaff up there. I'm too damn old to climb. I ain't gonna go aloft no more. I'm too old. So I use a cherry picker, which works good. Okay, I got a lot of stuff going your way, guys. I gotta get hot on that uh, USF Saucy, that Corvette. I got up there top my Calypso box. And I gotta prepare to get the railings on that damn thing. I started a little bit on it. When one kid done get the rigging done, I want to get that bad boy in the water and uh, get some, get some, get some video of that for you guys. Okay, so I got the gentleman right here. That's going to be, that's going to be the housewarming bill, the farmhouse bill. And uh, oh, I'm going to do it right this time. I have a thirty foot room here. I can't believe it. I may have a heart attack if I got a normal home now. But uh, I don't want to jinx myself. Okay, I got nothing else to show you here. Yeah, that's about it, kids. I got nothing else to show you here. Okay, I'm going to repair to play. When I get back, I'm going to give that a second coat of uh, varnish on the Dan down on the mast. And uh, drill some holes, some stuff to prepare for rigging. Then, uh, maybe by tomorrow, I should have a video on the North Love, on the Stern Galleries. When that Stern Gallery is done, guys, guess what happens? You guessed it. It's rigging time. And after you're doing the instructions, the rigging, this thing's not really that crazy. Not compared to a, to a, to a, to a square rig clip or anything like that. Even the old English rigging. This thing is rigged pretty simple. And it's big, so you got plenty of room. So 90% of the time, I got to be on my feet bigger than that. Just like I did in the last one. Okay, that's it. I mean, I've been here too long. I got to go and play music. And I'd like to thank everybody for uh, watching the video and watching those slides right there. Uh, all my subscribers, new and old, I'm uh, very, very delighted for my kill the four top for your wonderful candidate and wonderful comments. I'm meeting all each one of you. And uh, I had, for Blake, uh, Fourth of July. I hope everybody's got their fingers, and, and I hope all your children. I hope everything's okay, everything's safe. And like I say, you gotta watch out for these kids during fireworks. I see a lot of parents out there. They get carried away, breaking that booze out there and beer and whatnot. Let the kids, let the Indians out there go play all day long, and they get into stuff. You don't watch them. Things can happen. So fireworks, you gotta really watch out. I knew a guy one time. He walked out with his hands in his pockets all the time. Ever so he got his hands in the pocket. But like this, he had his hands blown up for handling a Roman candle one time. He thought it was a dud. He picked up the boom. He did. He just took off his fingers. Also, ball of his hand up there was gone. It was hot. Poor guy was ruined for life. So, you gotta watch out for that stuff. Use common sense. Hope everyone was safe. We got other fish to fry right now. We got Labor Day coming up, holiday coming up. And uh, so far, it has been. Terribly hot out here, except for the heat waves that we had. So we're holding our own when it comes to summertime out here. And uh, probably the same way you all live that too. Okay, make mama happy. Take care of the little ones. Stay focused when you drive. Spend wisely. 
be aware of your surroundings. Get yourself a kit, barbecue, and uh, take care of yourselves. And I love you guys. And uh, go out, bless you all. Please say your prayers. And uh, take care of little babies again, your and mama. Happy wife, happy mm -hmm. life, very happy life. You can make a mess, bull. They can really uh, take the glue away from you for a while. <laughs> this is Frankie Dave, Frankie Dave, model signing off. I'm out of here, boy. You guys take care of yourselves. God bless you all.